When I talked to Marcus Lubera, a plant breeder, he has a YouTube channel that I'll, I'll link in the description. Uh, he has some pretty cool videos on breeding apples and on breeding red-fleshed apples. You should check it out. Um, he's a real friendly guy, really nice, answered some emails that I wrote him about apple breeding. And he said to grow the seedlings out as fast as possible. And uh, the trees, you know, once you get them grafted out in the trial rows, just keep them, keep them moving. So I've been trying to do that. I don't always keep up as much as I should or could, but I've kept up pretty well with these this year and with the trial rows. Uh, so now I'm gonna go down to, you know, I've already, already fertilized and watered these. Now I'm gonna go down to the trial rows where I have last year's seedlings grafted onto dwarfing rootstock and growing in, in permanent rows and give those a push too. So liquid fertilizer followed by water. So these are last year's seedlings grafted onto dwarfing rootstock and growing out this year. They were just grafted this year. They did really well. A lot of them have you know, two feet even more, and they are still growing. I can tell that they haven't, most of them at least, haven't kind of like hardened off and quit growing, but they do look like they're slowing down. And part of the reason is I had these onions here that I grew for a cash crop to help, you know, fund all this, and I had to wait for them to cure down. So now they're cured down, I'm gonna harvest those. I didn't wanna water them and get them all wet while they're curing. So now I can harvest those, get some manure tea on here, and some water. What I'm actually using for fertilizer is urine. Um, just for me, like peeing in a bucket, I have about probably five or six gallons. And that's like the best kept gardening secret ever, basically. It's got tons and tons of trace minerals, very high nitrogen. It actually has most of the useful plant nutrients that leave your body or are in your urine, not in feces and it's relatively safe, um, it's easy to collect, it's free, it's awesome. Uh, more videos coming on that. If you think that's gross, get over it, because it's fucking awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna harvest these onions, dump some pee on here, and then I just move the sprinkler up and down here today and tomorrow until they're all tucked in and ready to go. And then I'm gonna put in a stick and mark it so we can see the progress. Maybe on two or three of those, I'll, I'll do that so we can kind of come back later in about six weeks, maybe end of September, beginning of October, and see how these guys did and how much they pushed. Because if I stop watering these and feeding them, with, like if I didn't water these anymore right now, they're not gonna grow that much more. I, I just know they're not. They're gonna go, you know, just kind of, they're just gonna stop, stop growing and uh, don't want that. So there we go. 